Baby, 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 we don't go. I'm much better talking, so let me know. And then we'll go, oh, I'm loving you. Eh, are you loving me? Eh, all your water streets. Eh, leave it all to me. That's leave gonna it all be, to me. That's gonna be fucking tough. Oh, that's gonna be, this gonna be a banger. Oh, I'm saving that. Oh, Vince about to go crazy. Yeah. What's up, guys? We are hashtag uh, elevated. See, I got it. I'm doing my own thing. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're so hyped because um, we're working on new songs for elevated. And it's freaking fire. You know what else is fire? This song. So this is going to be like a really soulful song. Mm -hmm. And Oh, I need this yeah. thing. So, so you reacted to EXO. Yeah. So one of the members, Dio... Uh, from EXO, he's singing, I think, with his vocal instructor, either his vocal instructor or vocal produ or like song producer. Mm -hmm. correct, correct me, I haven't had the time to research it because I, I knew this like years ago, but for, I totally forgot. I'm so sorry, guys. Just uh, correct me or I'm going to look it up after and I'll tell him. But I know he's like uh, another singer slash producer slash teacher or something like that. Mm -hmm. um, so Dio is the singer of uh, EXO. And this is like, like a very soulful R&B song. And I think you and Will should cover this in, really? in English because it's like it has like a lot of runs and just kind of like attitude. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> so we got a, like a lot of complaints in the previous um, reactions that he ta uh, he talks over the music. So what we're going to do this time is just every time you want to say something, just press pause. And I'm, I'm just going to. Yeah. And and with the Michael Jackson references, uh, just wink at the camera. But I don't think you'll see any. Uh, Michael Jackson references. There's but, always someone somewhere. Not yeah. joking. I hope there's not one in this. Yeah, but um, I'm I'm just gonna Online. like say like the time <laughs> frame and whatever, just so I can figure out what how to edit. So, anyway, so the song's called "Tell Me What Is Love." Uh, let me change. Let me fix something. What is love? EXO don't hurt me. Yeah. <laughs> there's, there's another EXO song that's called "What Is Love," but. Um, we can react to that right after because it's okay. kind of the same attitude. This is gonna be fun. I love it. Already. Yeah. This sounds like a song I would write. <laughs> Wait, that's his instructor singing uh, like that? Yeah. He does not look like his voice. <laughs> that's dope. Pause real quick. Wait, wait. Have I'm gonna rewind it so we catch everything. Okay, so have they has he performed this live ever? Yeah. Oh, okay. Let me okay. rewind it to okay. where we uh, You're gonna say something? Um yeah, just okay, one one ten. One ten? Yeah, one ten. Close enough. I'm gonna get it. I just gotta hear it again. These are good lyrics. I like how they have it in English. This is translation. Yeah. Hey, baby. 
<laughs> I love when artists do that. That's why I said that attitude. Mm -hmm. That's how I wrote that verse. <laughs> Okay. You know why I love songs like like I'm telling you guys this because Kev and the group already know that I love R and B feels like this. It's basically like songs like this. I will literally um I will listen to it. That's how I practice my riffing. Actually, I'll play a song like the whole time. If you I don't know if you if you peep, I was trying so hard not to just ad lib and like ad lib and sing with them. Like, it's so hard, bro. Oh my, like, I, like, hold on. Like, this part specifically, hold on. Like, uh, well, uh 309. Like, okay. Like, on. right about here. Hold on. But when it comes up. Okay. And then I just picture, like, Like that part right there, like stuff like that. That's like that music like this is why I love to sing. So to bring more context, uh, Josh loves like th this type of music and this type of attitude because there's like a lot of room for him to practice his ad libbing and and it riffs. touches you like you felt like you felt it too like yeah like you felt too like that's one of the things I love about music. It's contagious. Yeah, like music really changes. Music can either tear people. Can, like if used for bad purpose can really tear somebody down or when used for like great things can really lift somebody up what that's one thing about me music is a powerful thing and i feel like certain some people really underestimate how powerful it can be like there's songs where i'm feeling good but if i play certain songs like certain love songs 
it will like bring me back to a time where I was heartbroken and then I'll just be shut down. Like I will literally shut down. That's how much like music, how powerful music can be. And, and uh, how does the song affect you? This song, it makes, it makes me feel like I found that soulmate in my life, even though I haven't done it yet. One day. That's one day. That's, that's one, that's on the bucket list. But like, it makes me feel like I found that one that I want to love and hold forever, basically. And the best way to express my love for that person is to just sing my heart out to that person. That's the only way. A little story real quick. There was a girl I liked way back then, right? And I had a hard time. It was like third grade. It's like when I was taking my ser my singing way more seriously. And she knew I liked her. I knew I liked her. Everybody knew I liked her, but I could never communicate. I would always stutter when I would try to talk to her. But then I sung um, The Way You Make Me Feel. And it like, there was no stuttering, no nothing. I just, I, my mind, my whole mind state changed. When I, when I'm like just talking with you, like just joking around. Yeah. I'm not like that when I sing. Right. It's like, it's a super alter ego. It just, music, long story short, basically, sorry for rambling. Long story short, music just transforms you. Music is very transforming. And you know what's funny? Um, like that guy, um, Dio, like in person, he's pretty like, not like expressive. Like he has that, like that, that straight face the entire time. He looks like he wants to kill everyone type, <laughs> type vibe. But when yeah. you hear him sing, it's like, he, he's a completely different person. And so I, I can see that's a side that either gets suppressed or he can't find a way to communicate it. Right. But the music allows him to really uh, let it out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. As as people, as the like, as the listeners, and it's not just people who are skilled with music. It's everyone in general. We know something genuine when we hear it. Right. So it'll vibe with people. Why do you think like? Certain, certain people came to me and said they love the Can You Stay in the Rain cover that we did. Yeah. And I think, like to think, like they can talk about the riffs and everything, but at the end of the day, it's the genuine um, love we put into making it, I feel. Like. That's yeah. why I think it's our best cover. Oh yeah, for sure. Because like, I love the song and like, I always wanted to cover the song. And I, I, I like, I was up, I'm over obsessed with like, produce, or helping produce and exactly. like, but yeah. If you guys like this reaction, hit the subscribe button, like, and please check out our cover. Can you stand the rain? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Peace, guys.